Yo, guitar people, I'm talking about stuff that's not guitar again, and I'm in my living room, as they say, in somewhere. Um, it is uh, Gear Street Setup Week, and actually it will be in two weeks, but uh, for you it is now. I know I make this joke every single time because this filming now, but then talking to you in two weeks now is weird. So, as always at the YouTube events, I couldn't do it just like I can't do without something me, my videos. I mean, I couldn't do my videos just like I couldn't do the events without Tried Orbit. Uh, and I'm standing here with my T3C, T3C, T3C. Um, I have two of them now. This is uh, one of the media centers that we're gonna have for uh, the event, there's gonna be a monitor on here and possibly, you know, more lights and stuff. So, with the T3C, you can do anything. It can go really, really high. And this is where the main camera will be, in this case, a Blackmagic production camera, um, which is gonna be the main camera for the living room studio. It is called the living room studio because we are in my living room. And I was gonna set up a... Hank, I'm over here. I was gonna set up a rather uh, really cool kind of like a sitting area with a specific, a special kind of benches and whatever. And I was like, wait a second, what am I gonna do with my couch? I have a couch, <laughs> like many people do. So I thought, I'm just gonna use my couch. So we're gonna be, I mean, it's very dirty right now, but, um, and there's many blankets because we have dogs and blankets. So we're gonna be sitting right here, camera over there. Maybe we're pushing that back a little bit. And around the couch, we'll, 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 uh, we'll, we will have amps. So I built these shelves, and you can see, I tested with this fame amp, uh, there's gonna be amps all around. So it should make a very nice kind of a cozy thing happening. Hank's fighting with the camera, you good there? Good. Um, Hank will be doing the daily videos because I won't have time for that. I will have to schmooze with people and probably get them whatever they want because everyone's a crybaby. So, but imagine I'm imagine I'm sitting here, which you don't have to because we have camera technology to show you. And then there's someone here, and we have something on the table like a, a floor amp or a pedal or a coke. Um, now, how do we film that? Um, from the side? No, we don't do that shit. I want to film that from above. Problem is, there is no, the ceiling is rather far away. The ceiling's rather far away in this room. Um, I will have a camera there, there, there. Uh, probably camera behind the amps. I'll have a camera with a, spe uh, a special 60 millimeter lens to film the front of the amp. How do we get this? Um, you might have seen it already in uh, some of the campaign like clockwork sessions where we used it. I now have a starboard. Let me show you. The starboard from Tried Orbit is freaking ridiculous. It's based on an old stand. That, come on, come on. This is Sir Didymus. So here's the starboard. Here's another, here's my, there's a T1 with two extenders. And here's another T3C. I know all these words. But here's the starboard and that's based on an uh, a very classic stand that's been used in many, many studios and uh, they kind of rebuilt it and all the individual parts actually fit the old stand. Now, the cool thing about this is it's freaking huge, it's freaking heavy and it is so easy to manipulate because it's got hydraulics, hydraulics. Uh, so, see, it doesn't crash down. So you just pull it down a little bit and you're good. Very easy. Now, if I want to get that back up, it actually just goes automatically. So even though it's gigantic, it is a very easy to manipulate stand. There are um, very big legs. If you want to tuck that away, let me try to do that by opening this up careful. It, do, it doesn't go all, uh, all the way because you have to pull this. Look over here. Can you see this over here? Over here. Over here. You have to pull this out and I'm going to hit this on Hank. 
be careful with your head because that that counterweight is actually quite heavy. But let's say you have a lot of weight over there and you wanna, this isn't heavy enough, okay? First of all, it's very easy to move around because we have this, look at, look at this. Can you see this? Here, you can move the counterweight to the right position. You can easily grab it with these things. But, should you need more weight, try it, Orbit has these little uh, sandbags. And, this just opens up and you shove them in there and then you have more counterweight. So, but I don't think we need that. Um, I'm just gonna show you. Oh. So, let's attach that. So if you wanna store this away, this is how small it gets. Um, technically, this is how small it gets. And you can actually, lift this up and you kick in the legs but don't kick them all in at the same uh, uh, all the way because otherwise it will fall over so you do this and you do it incrementally and all of a sudden the footprint is really small look at this you wouldn't want to have it extended like this because that's not stable enough but for storage in a studio, hell yeah. So, we're gonna go the opposite way again. See, that's not a good idea. Gotta do it a bit at a time. Be smart, physics people, physics are real. Done, and now it should click in. So what I wanna do is get a camera over the table. I would love to do it from back here. I haven't actually tried this. The event's in two weeks and I haven't tried this. So from right here, amps here, put some plants on it. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna extend this. I'm opening this, opening this. Let's see. Um, well, first of all, let me show you this. Oh, this. Oh, oh. So, you can, of course, because it's got the... Actually, this doesn't... Ah, it just come out. It's got the Triad Orbit. It comes with the OA. Triad Orbit, the uh, patented something. Is it patented? I don't know. The I.O. thing. Um, you, just, you have to screw in the mic as well. That... Uh, that I didn't do. There we go. So I have this fluid here. You go clickety click, and then you move this right in front of the vocalist's grill. I can actually from over there have this right here and very, very easily position it to where it needs to be. I mean, that's quite an extension right there. So you can do this. Um, I could, if I wanted to, extend it with this A1A. Well, this is the A2A. I don't know. And if I really wanted to put this small OAM on there, the smaller version of the OA. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing like with Lego right now. Tighten this. Bam, I mean, that's ridiculous, right? It totally is. And, I see. So I don't know why you would want to do that, but you could, that's the point. Triad Orbit doesn't tell you how to use Triad Orbit. Um, of course, if you wanted to use two things on here, either use an SS clamp, I know that's what it's called, Right here, I, di I did that, had the mic here and had a camera right on top of it. Um, this is quite heavy, you might want more baggage back there. But use an O2R, bam! And then put two things on it. You could, if you wanted to. 
So what I want to do is, I'm going to put this OA back on. It's called the Orbit Arm. I want this camera to be smack perfectly 90 degrees over the table. So the question is, does it get long enough? Can already see that's no. Okay, that's as long as we got. So from back here, I mean, I'm asking a lot. I don't really want to extend that a lot further. It's not going to fall, but that might not be the best idea. That means I somehow need to wheel over there, which might make a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense because this is out of frame. The frame for the main cam ends right here and height probably the top of Sir Didymus's head, which means we need to go higher here. But actually that makes a lot of sense. We can test it. You know what, I think we shall test it. Okay, that's interesting. Right now I don't even see it. But we have Didymus in there right perfect. So let's see, if I move this in, is it in frame? What? How is it not in frame? That would be perfect. Uh, where's display here, display? It's not in frame. <laughs> What? Tell me when you see my hand, Hank. No. <laughs> I mean, that, 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 that's ridiculously perfect. I thought we'd have to go a lot higher and all that, but I mean, that? <laughs> the higher I go, the more wobbly it gets. If you fully extend it, <sighs> you'd stop laughing. If you fully extend it, Hank, if you fully extend it, <laughs> what? What's your problem, Hank? If you fully extend it, it gets a bit... <laughs> if you fully extend it, it gets a bit wobbly, obviously. So um, what I can do is, because I have a small rig cage for this uh, Blackmagic camera. I can actually put this anywhere. I can stick it in anywhere. Okay. That's perfect. So that means we would extend it right here. And just for the YouTubers to not have this in their grill the whole time, I would possibly go like this. A little bit higher, but that means I don't need a stool or anything. I can literally just adjust it here, and the picture that I will be adjusting, I can see on the TV right there. And um, pretty much it. That setup is done, of course. I'm holding it, screwing it in, and then it comes down a bit, but I will be able to get you guys videos of things that are perfect on the table. Um, as long as YouTubers don't trip over this, which I mean, it has breakable uh, wheels. That's perfect because there's no way this is in the picture. I'm sitting here, I'm probably not even super aware of this. Yeah, this is, uh, there's two ways of doing this. At TGU we had uh, 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 in small rooms we had metal uh, uh, trusses and stuff like this. But this is the way to do it and have it mobile without me uh, modifying my living room. Is the Starbird inexpensive? No, I think it's about a thousand bucks. But if you're a pro studio and you need to mic drums from above with decker trees and whatever, or you want to get a really heavy mic right in front of your vocalist, 
and not have stuff on the floor and get it out of the way. This is the freaking way to do it. The quality on this is as good as the quality will be on any piece of gear. Um, I'm very, very impressed with it. And as stupid as it is, I wish I had two. When it came out, I was like, I never need this. Ha! Right here, I need it. So, my point is, this Starbird is awesome. And this is mine. Now it's mine forever. What the? Um, so this is, this is very cool. If you're in the market for something like this because you're filming um, or you're recording, especially drums, choirs, whatever, anything where you need a mic high up, this goes, I think, all together. If I tilt this and stuff, I think I can go up six meters or something, which is ridiculous. Um, probably not quite six. Goes up two and a half. I, I don't know. This is six meters high. That's ridiculous. So, um, yeah, this is cool. Cables. It's going to be good. It's going to be very, very good. I'm excited. Gear Street happening in just a few days for you, for me, in, and so on. Thanks for filming, Hank. Links below and uh, animals at the end.